The propeller dates back to 1493, when Leonardo da Vinci sketched out the concept for a helical screw that could propel a machine vertically into the sky. The propeller is still occasionally referred to as an air screw, a term that accurately reflects its basic design and function. The key to making one? Plenty of sanding. Wooden propellers start out as a laminated block of maple wood. Lamination is a process where several layers are glued together. The block has between 36 and 48 layers, less than 1 16th of an inch thick. Depending on the model, workers select a master pattern that is between one and two yards long. They lay this pattern over the maple block and mark a one inch center hole. They drill the hole and lay in a centering pin to hold the pattern in place. A worker traces the pattern on the top of the block. He then cuts the outline with a bandsaw. This is the propeller's profile. Next, he traces a pattern on the side of the block. This is the propeller's pitch, the amount of twist in the blades, which dictates the amount of propeller thrust. Using a pattern guide, he marks where the pitch blends into the center hub, then removes the bulk of the pitch with a bandsaw. Now, he clamps the block onto a computer-guided milling machine that carves the pitch to very precise dimensions. The machine's carbide-tipped cutters shave infinitesimal amounts of wood with each pass. Precision milling just one end of the propeller can take up to 60 passes. Next, a worker shapes the airfoil with a bandsaw. The airfoil is the side of the propeller that is shaped like an airplane wing and produces forward thrust. The pitch side and the airfoil side. Workers use a tool called a spoke shave to smooth the propeller even more. Then they verify the airfoil's thickness and curve with a hand gauge. A spray of dark paint helps them know where they've been as they begin smoothing the propeller surface. They remove any remaining carving marks using a belt sander. Then they check the propeller for balance. Using a pneumatic sanding drum, they perform an overall sanding and punch in propeller specifications, diameter, pitch, flight direction symbols, and manufacturer ID. Workers hand inspect the propeller, then perform a final sanding and balance. A coat of clear enamel seals the wood. and a safety color sprayed on the tips makes the propeller visible while it's spinning. Two final protective coats of clear enamel, 24 hours of drying time, and these propellers are ready for takeoff.